Ladies and gentlemen, tonight being inducted into the Guinness Hall of Fame, Ollie Campbell. I, had a, I played for 21 years, all right, from Belvo, under eight, when I, under nines, when I was eight years of age, until I retired prematurely at 29, so 21 years. And I can honestly say, honestly say, hand on heart, that some of my fondest memories, my best memories, are actually in a Leinster jersey. Playing for Leinster schools, Leinster under 19s as it was, and obviously for the Leinster, Leinster senior team. I was very lucky to play with some really, truly great players who would have been household names at the time and would be still to this day, with some really inspirational captains um, and I suppose some very creative and innovative coaches as well. So that's really what Leinster and playing for Leinster would, would have meant to me. Indeed. Um, I'm always interested in, in I suppose when, when you look at the setup that the lads work in now, um, whatever better than world class is, it is that. But can you compare, you know, what the lads experience now to say when you played for Leinster those years ago? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, how different is it then? I think it's really quite hard to believe and incredible credit to Leinster Rugby. It's less than 10 years ago that Leinster trained and togged out in Porta Cabins in Old Bevedere, my club. Uh, and it's really hard to believe that Leinster have grown in less than a decade from that sort of sleeping giant into the giant that they have since become with state-of-the-art uh, facilities. Up in, uh, up in UCD, and I think huge credit is due to Leinster Rugby for actually, for actually doing that. Here, here. Indeed. And actually, maybe uh, as an extension of that, would you like to be playing now? Absolutely, yes. yes. Uh, a a unequivocal, unequivocal yes. I suppose the next part of that question is, uh, would I swap what I experienced for playing now, and I say I have such fond memories of my career, and I say not least with Leinster, and would I swap? And I think it's probably an unequivocal no. You've mentioned about your, your hugely fond memories of playing for Leinster at, at various levels. Is it possible for you, when you look back on your career, to pick out one highlight? Uh, it's quite difficult, really. I mean, I suppose in some ways, in some ways, it's it's. Like asking a parent which of his yeah, which yeah. of his kids he likes likes the most. Um, I suppose I, maybe a Leinster memory, maybe uh, very very as brief as possible. Late seventies, early eighties, we were playing what was described at the time by the Mister Rugby of Ireland. He was a Leinster man. He was an Irish man. He lines captain of all. He described the rugby we were playing at the time as sublime. So we were playing some really good rugby. Mm. So we played two and won two in the, in the interprovincial series, which was the ultimate at that time. So we had to play Munster in Thoman Park. They had also played two and won two. Now we always hear these days about when the interpros were played, it was just two men and a dog. This was a complete sellout, hanging from the rafters. It was December 79, I think. And uh, so we decided, to go down and not only to beat Munster, but to beat them playing a Munster way. Because that will be what they were least expecting. So thankfully, we hammered them. Yeah. Final score, 4-3. <laughs> <laughs> but a very, very, very satisfying Absolutely. Win. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. So look, uh, Dari, if we're, if we're wrapped up, if I can, I, 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 um, I just would like to say that I'm, I'm extremely grateful, um, extremely honoured 
uh, with, and will cherish, cherish, really cherish this award. If I can, if it's okay, I'd like to accept it on behalf of all the Leinster players, including Terry, that I played with at, at school's level, oh, at under-19s, and at senior and at senior level. Um, That's really nice. Thank you. That's lovely.